Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny. Welcome back to Craft Creations. And today we are here. It is my turn. Oh, just slapped that a little hard. It is my turn with um, Christmas Crafts 2022. So I hope that you saw um, Sandy's video yesterday and then mine today and then Sandy then me and we're gonna go back and forth till the 18th so make sure you keep coming around and make sure you're commenting and you are subscribed so with all of that said um, we are going to make are you ready we're gonna make a little shopping bag and look at how stinking cute this is <laughs> I mean, how adorable, right? So I couldn't, f <laughs> I wanted to find like a darker green um, tissue paper, but it's either like a grassy green or this light green. So I thought the light green went pretty well. Um, but yeah, so this is the side, the front, the back, and this. Now we're not decorating any of this because like I said, towards the end, you will see this all come together and you'll understand why I've made these the way I have. So we're going to use the same paper collection, only instead of the background being green, we're going to do the one, um, this paper from that collection. And this is using the Country Christmas, the newer one that she made. So this is going to be quick, but let's just do it. So um, this is a die that I have in my collection. And these are the two pieces. Now, again, I want to stress, guys, that even if you don't have this die, there are hundreds, and I probably even more than hundreds, of videos that show how to make these without any dies. So don't get upset or panic, because I remember when I first started crafting, I'm like, wow, I don't have any dies. I don't have a die machine. I don't, you know, I can't make any of this stuff. And I wanted to, and I was so down. But guess what? You can. All you need, I think, is like a pair of scissors, a scoreboard, and you don't even really need a scoreboard. Um, glue and a measuring thing. That's really all you will need. A paper, obviously, to do your craft. So, um, if you're if you don't have the die and you want to look it up, look up, um, you know, uh, make a bag out of paper or DIY bag or shopping bag or however you want to do it. Um, but if you do have this die, all you're going to do is run this through twice and this through twice with the paper that you want. So I used this paper for this. So this will be the front and the back. And these are the two sides. So it'll make your bag. Um, and these are two different pieces of paper. And that's okay because this actually will go with this one because it's it's from the same collection if that makes any sense I, i'm fumbling on my words and i don't understand why but i am <laughs> okay so this is this part oh no sorry it goes this way why am i using that one i don't know so you'll run it through and this is what you will get out of it then you will run this one through and this is what <clears throat> you get out of it so Let's have some fun and put this bad boy together. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Um, and it is really as easy as it looks. So we are going to, I did this one already, folded it up. And all you're gonna do is fold on the square lines that it provides you with. And then you're gonna make sure that it's a nice, clean, crisp fold. And so there's the back or front or however you want it. So those are those two. And then this is for the side. Now the side's not tricky, but you know, if you're not used to doing things like this, then it might be a little tricky, but I promise you, you'll get it. So we're gonna make sure that that's a nice, good fold. And it is, and we're gonna do this one. And you're just gonna go through and fold them all. And then you're gonna do this one. And then this one, let me make sure that folded on the line. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now here is where you're going to take, put those out and you're going to fold this in, but you're, you don't want to fold it all the way in because you don't want to crease it here. So you just kind of fold it like this and then you're going to take this, push it towards you, push this towards you. Um, and then that will fold it, but you'll see how we put it together. So that's how you want to make sure that that's folded. Okay. 
and again, you'll understand when we get, when we get there. So we are going to attach this here. So what you want to try to do is line up, uh, let me use this cause it's a little thinner. <laughs> so you see this edge and this edge, you want to line them up with that edge right there. And then this edge to this edge, if that makes sense. Okay. So let's do that. So I'm going to use glue. You can use tape. You can, you know, whatever works for you is awesome. I like using the glue just because it really does work. And I'm using, um, what is this one? This is barely art. No, this is reptile. I'm sorry. This is reptile glue. Um, Amazon love it. Um, but I, to be honest with you guys, it's all the same art, glitter, glue, um, barely art and reptile uh, to me, they are all the same. It does the same thing. They are just great. So that's what I'm using here. Make sure I get the glue up. So that's what it looks on this side. And I'm just going to take this and make sure that I get it all down and there's no bubbles because there was a bubble right there. I don't know if you saw that. I did. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to make sure that that's all down and then we're going to do the other side. Um, so we're going to glue this Oops. and hopefully I'm not gluing it to myself or to the table, but to the actual <laughs> paper. Yeah, that's important. All right. So we're going to line this up the best that we can. Try to get all the parts where they should be. And there you go. Okay, get the glue off. And then we're just gonna do, I don't know if you saw that, but it kind of came up there. So let me make sure. Yeah, see, it kind of moved. Shoot, 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 I didn't, oh, I have such a potty mouth. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But look, this it moved down here too. So make sure that if that happens, you put it back to where it should be. So we're going to just glue this down a little bit. Make sure it gets stuck. I'm not pressing very hard, but just enough so that, you know, there's a little pressure and it's on. On like Donkey Kong. And then here are a few little bumps. So we're going to smooth them out and try not to move it again. And it seems to be working. So that's good. Get off all that excess glue, but there really wasn't much. All right. Okay. So that is our front and two sides. So this is how it's going to fold in like so. Okay. And then like so. So we are going to glue this. This isn't going to take a whole lot of time. Honestly, this is very, very, very simple to do. Well, I shouldn't say simple, but it's, it's on the easier side of things. <laughs> Maybe I'll just say it that way. And then if you have the sides glued, right, then this should all just kind of match up, which is a beauty. <laughs> so we're going to, Sorry guys, it's, I don't want to stick my head underneath the thing. Um, so yeah, so just make sure it's lined up and then I'm going to come in this side and we're going to just gently push down. You don't want to push too hard because again, you don't want to knock it out and, um, have to redo it like what happened on the side. So you're just going to want to rub it down, push it down, make sure that it's in there. Um, and then it will glue to itself. So there we go. There's one side. So that's coming out good. Yay. All right, let's do this side. So again, you're just gonna oh, make a mess and glue it everywhere. <laughs> just get it. All right, let's get that glue off of there. All right, and then we're gonna Again, hopefully, yep, lines up beautifully. And listen, guys, if for some reason it doesn't line up and you don't like it and 
you're upset because you don't want to change the paper. If it's that bad, then just print out a new piece of paper and do it again. Or if you can, you know, pick it up and salvage it, then do that too. But it really should not be an issue. And that seems to be right where I need it. So I'm going to gently take this and press it down so that it stays. <laughs> oh, I don't want that up. All right, and then before it gets way stuck down, I um, just want to check those lines. Yeah, see? See how that's popping up a little? So I just need to stick it down a little bit. Because it's hard to get those edges. I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to make sure that, yeah, see, that's nice and glued down now. So that should stay. That shouldn't be an issue at all. And make sure this side's the same. Yep, all glued down. So now what we want to do is we want to glue. Now, this is where, not tricky, but this is where it gets a little finagly. <laughs> so... The way I do this, and this way you can hide all the flaps here so you don't see it. So like when you look into the bag, I mean, when you look into the bag, you're going to have tissue paper, maybe. So you're not really going to see anything anyway. But when the tissue paper's out, and you know, whatever. So I like to just slide this right in. And then I'm going to take the sides and glue them. And that's really it. But let me, so I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So I put the glue on first. Now you could do this either way. You could do it this way. You could put the glue here instead of worrying about putting it on here. It's completely your call and what you want to do. You don't need a ton of glue. You just need a little bit so that it's going to stick. But what you don't want to do is get glue all over the place. So I just try to stick it in and then push it down because that should line up just exactly the way it should. Now, I'm sorry, but, okay, there we go. We could do this way. And then I'm just going to rub it in. <laughs> Make sure that that glue takes to the bottom before we go ahead and do the side. And it should be, see, and then see how you have that nice smooth bottom. You don't have to worry. You don't see all the tabs. And then when you do the side pieces, you, you I mean, yeah, you'll see them, but I mean, you have to look for them to see them if you know what I'm saying. So now we are, oh, I got a bubble. <laughs> Sorry. So now we're going to take this. We're going to glue it. See this? Like I said, it's not that time consuming and it's a pretty quick craft if you think about it. I mean, the, the time consuming part is figuring out what paper you want and then how you want to decorate it. But we're not decorating ours just yet because that's going to be part of the whole thing. So, oh, that's a lot of glue. <laughs> All right, so make sure it's lined up the best you can, right? So just kind of push it in just a little. All right, and then we're going to take it and we're going to push it down in here. Just again, make sure you don't move it so that it doesn't come off. And I'm having an issue with this one side right here. So let's just see. <clears throat> there we go. And then if you have a problem like that, you can just kind of pinch it together like I'm trying to do here. Um, just so the glue will hold. And see how this part keeps coming up? So I'm going to pinch it there too and just kind of keep rubbing it just until the glue takes to it. Cause that's, as soon as the glue takes, then you're kind of home free. You're good. You don't have to worry about it. So let's do this side. Well, that side is hopefully drying to itself. Okay. And then I will show you how to fold it down because there's another step to this. We're not quite done yet. So we're going to push that in. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want this to. Okay. There we go. 
and then push this down. So how's everybody doing? How have you been? Um, oh, I can't believe it's November. Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? God knows I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready for anything, to be quite honest. Okay. So I think that that's good. And again, guys, just honestly, if you're having some issues, take your time. Um, all right. So you see what happened? It kind of ripped here, and that was my fault because I, I, it's honestly what I just did. I don't even know how I did this, to, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue here, here, and here where it's all bubbling up, and then here. And then we're going to pray that it's going to stay. <laughs> all right. So there we go. You see the glue that's kind of coming out? But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And we can pinch it. All right. So now what we need to do. So now we have to fold down the pieces. So we're just going to glue the inside parts because you don't, again, you don't need a ton of glue. You just need enough where it's going to stick down. And that's also going to help um, make it a little bit more secure. So you're going to do it that way. You're going to... Make sure that it's gonna get into that paper again and hold it and glue it shut, which it should. Um, and then, and I'm gonna fix that side so don't panic. And we're just gonna do it by gluing it like I just showed you, but I'm gonna need a little bit of time to do that. So I will do that off of camera. Um, but it, honestly, it, that's all I'm going to do. But I don't want to sit here and bore you. It's, you know, watch who wants to watch glue dry <laughs> while I'm holding it. I don't know. Not me. <laughs> so I'll do that off of camera. But this is exactly how you do it. So if you can see, I'm gluing it and then just pushing it down so that that paper and the um, thing make contact. Okay. And then we're going to do these sides. So again, let me push that down so you can see what I'm doing. So you just want a little bit of glue here and then in the middle and then over here. And then you just push it down, push it in, there we go, okay. And then that's just gonna, again, give it that sturdiness. And the really good thing about this is it makes the holes for you um, right here so that you can put your ribbon or paper or however you want to do it. Um, yeah, so it's, it works out really, really well. So again, you're going to put your glue kind of all around from one end to the other. You don't need a ton. Let me put this back. Um, and then you are going to take it push it down and hold it just for a second so that you because what you're trying to do right now is just get that glue uh, excuse me the glue <laughs> to adhere to the paper and to um, the other paper so there we go and then that's it guys there is your box how stinking cool well actually fold it in like that so how cool is that? And then you have, you could put your ribbon. Um, this one I'm probably going to do like a yellowy orange color, but I will come back and show you as always. But how awesome is that? So that is your box. That's the whole thing. Oops. And it's, it's a great size. It's not too small. It's not too big. Um, you know, I have paws for hands, so it fits right in my open paw. <laughs> So yeah, like look at how cute they are. And if you had a couple, right? So that's it guys. That's all you have to do to make that. So I really hope that you liked this tutorial and that you like the way it came out. Please let me know if you have this die 
or if you're going to um, look to see if you could find a tutorial and make one, I would love to know if you guys do that. And then I would also love to see it. So if you have a channel and I'm not subscribed to you, let me know. Um, and I will definitely subscribe back and I would love to see it. Or you can send me a picture in an email if you don't do videos, um, you know, whatever. So I would love to hear from you. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and good luck in the giveaway, guys. And make sure um, tomorrow you go see Sandy. And then I will be back on Saturday with a super duper awesome video. So you don't want to miss those, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you soon. Have a great day. And I will be back. Hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.